that's just a um, low power view, and the blobby things to the left uh, is the DCIS, which are rather. Good morning. So I'm actually running out the door um, because we are back in clinic. Um, this morning we had an MDT um, uh, reviewing the uh, current breast cancer patients that are sort of on the doctor's rosters. Um, and then I am going to a genitourinary clinic right now to sit in with I think another student and one of the doctors and since it is our first week back in clinic post um, or during COVID, COVID's still a thing, wear your mask, um, I thought I would document it and I am so so excited. Forgive this opening shot, um, I will see you later today. You have proved that you fight well, now you can join us. Keep up. Keep up. Wake up, check your phone, ignore the alarm still alone. Wake up, rewind the night. Who are you? But also kind of who am I? Wake up, check your phone. Keep party for the apocalypse. Don't forget to RSVP. Think about how the polar bears are running out of ice. But hey, this photo got a lot of likes. Get down, but don't feel down. This is why we can't have nice things like a clean car or world peace. So have the sleep from your eyes. And super size, your vibe. Wake up, check your phone. Wake up, check your phone. It is just after 6 um, a.m. on the second day back in clinic. I have a Zoom meeting to tune into at 7 and then I start clinic at 8 today. Um, I'm in the cancer radiology clinic so seeing how they set up that treatment um, and do what they do. Really interesting I think but it means that I want to try to get to campus before that Zoom meeting starts so I don't have to tune in from my phone, which is why we're up um, and ready at 6. Um, just going to grab some breakfast to go, and then we will get going. Yesterday, I didn't tune in at the end of the day. Sorry. Really cool day. Um, a lot of conversation about men about their prostate cancer, um, mostly advanced stage metastatic and how they're managing, but really seeing the difference between, like, high and low volume disease and how the same disease can impact different patients differently, um, which I think was a really good learning point because we learn about that and they say it, but to see it um, and to see these different men impacted differently was really powerful. Um, and we had an amazing clinician who is a very good teacher in between patients, even though she was behind. So awesome. So far, great week back, but I have to get going. Check your phone. Check your phone. Check, check your phone. Check, check your phone. Check, check your phone. So we made it here in time for the meeting, which is awesome. Um, I forgot a sweater, so I'm going to be quite cold. Um, I'm sure some of you are wondering how we're staying safe and distant. Um, they check our temperature every day. We get a little sticker for a badge, um, provided we are clear. Um, and then our different study spaces have minimums and maximums that they're allowed to hold. So like the desk I'm at, it's this little booth and we're only allowed one person, which is very valid. Um, so they're still keeping us, you know, distant um, while letting us back into clinics, which I'm very thankful for. Um, and then obviously in clinic, we are far enough away from each other and the patients, um, and we're only really rotating through large enough spaces where we can safely do that. Today was a long day. Um, started with an MDT in the morning, um, which we just tuned into, and then went. I don't even know what it is. Oh, and then went straight into clinic. Um, this time, instead of um, shadowing a specific doctor, we actually went to the um, radiology clinic. So we got to see a little bit about how they deliver um, radiation therapy to cancer patients, got to witness a few. Um, patients and talk to a few different cases, which is really interesting. Um, we got to see someone getting treated for something sort of in their face, um, someone being treated for something 
near their prostate, um, prostates, and um, in that area on a woman as well, and um, see someone's uh, leg get treated. So really, really interesting. Kind of got to see sort of all of the different ways that they position patients and keep patients comfortable, but also very precise and very still and very exact every day that they have to come back in for treatment. Um, so that was really cool. Then we did a bedside tutorial or pseudo bedside um, to keep us safe. Only two students go into the patient's room and to keep the patient safe as well. Um, and then the others zoom in from a hospital teaching space. Um, and then we come back together and debrief. And we're just kind of alternating weeks like that if we can. Um, came back home, rushed back home for a meeting um, with AMSA. Um, so I was recently elected president of our MedSoc super exciting, um, so I needed to meet with AMSA and just kind of get to know how they can support me and the AMSA rep on our council, and that was really great. Then I had an accidental nap, <laughs> um, and then I just finished um, the virtual sim, which we will go through together on Friday, and it's about 10 p.m. now, um, so I'm going to go to bed. Wanted to get more stuff done today, but that's okay. Another really early start tomorrow, so. Morning. It's going to be a long day. I'm currently on an MDT, um, so a bit confusing to talk and listen at the same time. I'm heading to campus for a procedural skills practice session, and then I've got to zoom in from a socially distant place in the building to the bigger classes. And then um, at the end of the day, I have another group session, um, a small group session in person, so I have to stay all day on campus. I've packed a lunch, I've got um, lots of work to do, so it should be fine, it's just going to be a long day. So we can see quite well in Amos here, the Malleus, okay, can anyone go there and point out the Malleus? Very good. No, stay there. It's time to be alive. Start a podcast. Become a DJ. Try and fill the void inside. I'd be lying if I didn't say that sounds nice. Wake up. Check your phone. But the battery's died. Wake up. Check your phone. Brush your teeth. Count your calories. And we have successfully made it to Friday. It's been a long week. I have some thoughts. It's been really good. Today I have clinic from 8 to 12. No MDT this morning, so we got to sleep in a little bit. It's almost 7 now, and I am going to head out to make sure I'm there on time. It's a uh, hematology, oncology uh, clinic, so I suspect it will be sort of outpatients coming in, checking in with the oncologist and the hematologist, um, and talking about their side effects of their medications and making sure that everything's still going okay. It's how the clinics so far have run, um, and I kind of hope that this one's similar. Heme is definitely a confusing topic and not one that I am super confident in, so we're going to be trying to ask lots of questions today instead of um, trying to be asked questions. <laughs> so my friend suggested this last night, thanks Karina. If you don't know a lot about a subject, obviously it's good to ask questions anyways because you'll learn. But if you keep asking questions, you're engaged, and the clinician doesn't have time to turn it around on you and ask you a question that you don't know the answer to. So we're going to try to do that today. Don't know how it'll go. Um, but yeah, going to make a breakfast on the go and head out. Single-use plastic. How tragic. Fake friends. Real problems. Check your phone. But you're still alone. But you're still alone. Wake up. Bees are dying off. It's kind of sad. Oh, my bad. Can I have a plus one? Look directly in the sun, get on the dance floor, put your hands in the air, 24-7, loneliness, live stream, no regrets. Check, check your phone. So I don't forget to reflect this time. Um, a Friday was really cool. Just finished up. Um, it's just about 
2.30 now. Um, so this morning I was in the hematology clinic and because we had time and we had a really good doctor and uh, one of the patients showed up I think about a half hour early. Um, he actually let us sit and take a history. So we were in our masks and he kept commenting, I can't hear you, I can't understand. He was a really nice man with sort of for medical students, a hard history to take because he just had one sign on blood tests and nothing really else. Um, so we're doing all of our checks like, oh, there's no chest pain, there's no this, there's no that. He's like, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, but he's a lovely gentleman. Um, and then obviously the doctor sort of repeated some of the important questions. Um, but that was cool. It felt really great. And I was just realizing that that's the first patient history I've taken, not through a phone or a computer in a long time and it felt really really good to get to talk to someone and like get to know them in a short period of time and understand them and have them trust you etc etc all those things it was really lovely then i just had a meeting with someone for executive council and then had my virtual sim which is really odd you're skyping in while on campus but it worked um, and now i am just heading home to enjoy my weekend well do weekend study but yeah <laughs> Check your phone, wake up, check your phone.